This is a great matchup. Jamie and Queenie Navera took a loss to Antonia Shevchenko on that Dana White's contender series, but she's a tough broad. You don't want to be a stand-up fighter here at Nevada. You want to get this on the ground, knowing the boxing and kickboxing prowess of Frausto. Beautiful job of Zoila Frausto splitting the legs, making it difficult for Queen Ni Nevera to get her uh, arms wrapped around her, her legs there, so she cannot complete that takedown. Just an incredible athlete is Zoila Frausto, was a Fresno City College soccer player, MMA, kickboxing. Zoila Frosto, she's got an underhook, can't quite see, oh, and an overhook. Both girls in a neutral position. Big elbow over the top for Frosto. Big, huge knee, giant knees uh -oh. for Frosto. And here we separate, and this is where we're gonna see Frosto do her best. She's got amazing precision striking. So much happening in women's MMA ranks here in Combate Americas. Campbell McLaren promises a big time earth shattering announcement in the not too distant future. We did hear from Alberto uh, Del Rio that sexy star Dulce Garcia is headed to Combate. And now Zoila Frausto, well recognized, looking to return to MMA with a big time victory against a very good opponent who beat her sister back in the day. Oh, the lead leg taken out in Juventa. Nivetta coming back with her own strikes. I like it. Frost to those real quick hands. It's up to Nivetta to just avoid them. The big overhand right does not find its target. Nicely done by Queen Nivetta. Frost to smells blood. Coming in with elbows and fists. And they're making their mark. Oh, into the body. And it's over. Zoila Frosto with the precision striking. Beautifully done. She finds a first round finish for her Combate Americas debut, and guess who I heard she wants to fight? Oh, break, and now we can talk about it, but precise punching, and Yvetta looked like she had some control, and then she didn't. Yeah, she was doing really good. I don't know what happened, um, but nice respect there shown down to, to Queenie Nevera. I think I think Nevera is just disappointed with how it happened as opposed to being hurt. I could be wrong and I don't want to speculate, but I think just ran into a class striker. I think she's back in love with MMA. I definitely think so. She did a great job finishing the first round in front of her hometown, no less. Champion at 115, she was too small for 135. She struggled to make 115 and make weight time and time again. I think she's found a nice home here at 125 as Nivera does meet her. I think 125 is a perfect weight class for her. 35, she's too small. 115, she's too big. 125 is her perfect home and uh, she has found a home here with Combate Americas. One of our biggest signed females on the roster, Zoe Lafrosto. She is a vet. She is a pioneer in women's mixed martial arts. Big, she, huge, straight right hand. Another, another. Something hurt earlier. Right down the clown mouth. Oh, big shots. Shots to the body. And the ref's seen enough. She was hurt. Yeah, or something was hurt prior to that, because you could see Froila just go for blood. Right. She, she smelled blood. She jumped on it. She pounced. Big, huge knee, big elbow. Elbows, fists, knees. Left, right, knees. That that last knee dropped her. She punched to the body. Here's a big, huge knee. Boom, done. That was the one. That was game, set, match. Zoila Frausto. And now we can project. And I'll talk. I'll ask Juliana Pena to finish her thought here shortly. But in the meantime, Frausto soaks in the moment in her town, Fresno.